Saint-Germain's supposed longevity is again a traditional ploy used by people who claim to be magicians or alchemists to prove that they have discovered the magic elixir of life. The, the fact of not eating in public, I think, is a very, very, very intelligent ploy of showing that somehow you ingest different types of foods as normal human beings do. There was a rumor that he had died in 1784, but there are memoirs by the Comtesse d'Andema, um, the French lady-in-waiting to Marie Antoinette, uh, indicating that he was seen uh, after 1784, uh, and in fact for some years afterwards. So what I really meant was that it wasn't a fact that he had died in 1784. During Saturday evening church services in Pasadena, Elizabeth Clare Prophet claims that St. Germain speaks to his followers through her. I am the keeper of the flame of freedom for every nation. St. Germain, you have called me, and Uncle Sam. I am he, and I am here. I am in the flame of the holy science and of that religion which is yours to claim. Yes, I come, a believer and a teacher of the law of reincarnation. The law of the coming again and again of the soul is your cosmic justice. It is that cause of freedom whereby you understand that the goal and the calling of America and every true free nation is to lead mankind into that way of higher consciousness. This is my mantra, which I give to you. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. Hail Saint Germain! Hail Saint Germain! Evidence recently discovered in the library of the British Museum indicates that Saint Germain might well have been the lost third son of Prince Rikoshi, born in Transylvania in 1694. If he died in Germany in 1784, he lived 90 years. The average life expectancy in the 18th century was 35 years. 50 was a ripe old age. 90 was forever. We can account for those 90 years with a reasonable amount of confidence. St. Germain's lives before and after that, however, are a matter of faith.